Hello, everyone! I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. Welcome to our pedicure segment. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Today's topic is a gel polish alternative. Two nail wraps or stickers. We'll be using a one face gel polish as well. Watch till the end to see the technique. Here are today's toenails. Let's remove the coating first. All the work is performed by our pedicure instructor and pedologist Olga. She's left handed, so she goes from right to left in the reverse position. Let me know in the comments below how many of you are left handed too. We'll leave some of the previous base coat. Always make sure not to file off too much, removing the coating. Since toenails are small, the only exception is a big toe. Go from right to left if you are right-handed and go from left to right if you are left-handed. Make smooth and moves. They help to remove the coating without damaging the nails. Overfiling may result in peeling, curling, or even ingrown nails. So be careful. Now shape the free edge. Remember that we don't make round corners in a pedicure. To keep the nails from growing in. We can remove leftover base coat with a 180-240 grit file or use a hard buffer to avoid the risk of damaging the nails with a carbide drill bit. Now lift up the cuticle and open it up. We will process it with a red cone diamond drill bit with a dull tip. This drill bit is very convenient for a pedicure. Remove the pterygium and clean up the side sinuses. We can also clean up leftover gel polish on the sides. Hold the toe tight and pull the nail fold well. The drill bit shouldn't get on the nail. We can file the dry skin on the lateral folds with its wide base. Process the left sides in the forward position. To clean up all the leftover skin and dust, use some cuticle remover. This step will help to touch it all up. Wait for a minute and using a pedicure curette, clean it up, checking if there are any calluses under. Wipe off the leftover remover and cut the cuticle using scissors or nippers. Note that in a pedicure, we don't need to get too deep. Manicure rules don't apply here, since feet are no hands. Now let's talk about a popular gel polish alternative. Nail wraps. They were first introduced by the brand Minx in 2006. So, it's not a new technology. It has already cemented its place on the market. I took a wrap manicure course in 2013 or 2015, and it was hugely popular back then. Nail wraps can be used both 
over a bare nail or a base if we want to do an alignment. They are pretty universal. To measure the nail wrap size, we remove the main film and we keep it and use it for measuring the nails. Guided by this width, we adjust the wrap size. Since natural nails are arched and wraps are flat, some nail techs tend to use smaller wraps, leaving gaps on the sides. Why is it a good gel polish alternative? Well, nail wraps are thin and plastic. They don't crack or peel off, and overall, they last really well. If we use them right, of course. Otherwise, if we fail to stick them right, there will be air pockets. We put them on top of the nails, bend them over, and remove the axis with a file. We don't use scissors, since we need to seal the free edge. There are different nail wrap types. Thicker ones need some heat before use. And these are soft and plastic. There is a huge variety nowadays. They are super thin and stretchy. Nail wraps are perfect for clients with problematic nails. For example, if they want to cover up on a colosis. Well, if it's a one-time thing, that's fine. We can use them. Some clients are allergic to gel polish, and nail polish does not last on them. So nail wraps would come to the rescue. We may not cover them up with a base or a top coat, and use a regular nail polish instead. That will secure the wrap on the natural nail. And there will be no allergic reaction. That's definitely a plus. Nail wraps are perfect for winter, when we wear warm shoes. There is more pressure on the toenails, so nail wraps are again a great choice. We can seal them with a base coat on the free edge, or do a top coat layer. Depending on what lasts better on the client. As I've said before, we can put them over bare nails or an aligning base coat layer. In a manicure, there are bigger arches, so the setup is trickier. And since toenails are flat, there is no problem with that. Now let's do a coating using one face gel polish. Basically, this gel polish acts with no base coat before and no top coat after. That takes out three gel polish layers. So the coating gets thin and plastic. The only minus is that this gel polish is not glossy enough, so we need to cover it up with a top coat. If you know good one-face gel polishes, please share them in the comments. I'm sure many will find it helpful. Here is a final look a thin and plastic coating. So it will cause no problems in the winter time. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye bye.